Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, so far, just cloudy skies and uh, cool conditions as far as any uh, shower activity. It's been few and far between, tracking a little bit of activity offshore, but you can see the bulk of the rain uh, in certain locations. We'll take a look at Doppler radar right now. You can see one area now that's pretty much uh, fizzled out out across uh, upstate New York and uh, Pennsylvania. There's more offshore. It's really having a hard time working in. So, again, other than some sprinkles overnight into tomorrow, especially along the south shore, as we said earlier, not anticipating any widespread rain. This coastal storm having a significant impact on the mid-Atlantic as far as steady rain and wind. For us, it's just a nuisance. I mean, extra clouds, cool temps, a couple of sprinkles, nothing more than that is the worst of this should be staying offshore. So kind of damp and cool for Friday with uh, lots of clouds and a couple of sprinkles here and there, especially at the coastline. And we've been kind of singing this uh, same tune here for the holiday weekend that is mainly dry as the thrust of this storm should stay far enough away so that we'll have some clouds at times, but also some breaks of sunshine on that three day holiday weekend. I'll show you that in the seven day future cast cloudy, humid, cool in Providence right now. Temperature at 57, Smithfield 55 and upper 50s along the South Shore. As we widen out the view, you can see one area of rain through Pennsylvania. There's more offshore. We are just left with some low clouds. Now there's going to be a battle setting up between weather systems There's Canadian high pressure on the top of your TV set. That'll be dropping down at the same time. The red L, the area of low pressure, the storm is off the minute Atlantic coastline. So which one wins out? It gives up the fight here. Well, the high pressure cell should be strong enough sinking to the south and keeping this storm offshore and far enough away so that other than getting clipped with clouds uh, both tomorrow and again on Saturday, not much in the way of rain. And then this thing really takes over on a Sunday and Columbus Day Monday. And that actually gives us a better chance of seeing a little bit of sunshine. So and yeah, we're looking okay. Future cast shows as well. 11 o'clock in the evening, the canopy of clouds, the steady rain offshore, little blips of green tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, especially south shore, indicating sprinkles and not, nothing more than that. Tomorrow night, cloudy, kind of damp and some sprinkles here and there, but don't look for soaking rains. Those high school football games should be fine. Uh, mainly cloudy on Saturday. Any sunshine would be limited. A lot of clouds coming in off the ocean, but at least it's dry. So outdoor activities are manageable uh, for the overnight hours. Cloudy sprinkles, temperature 52 late at night, both tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. Cloudy skies, brisk and cool. Uh, the chance of a couple of sprinkles every now and then, especially along the south shore. Extra clouds, but dry on Saturday. Water fire Saturday night should be okay. Flames of hope. This is a, a very big water fire event every year and lo looking pretty good. Uh, Sunday, partly sunny sky, 64 Autumn Fest in Woonsocket, the Situate Art Festival, the Festival on Federal Hill. Columbus Day Monday, partly sunny 65. Overnight low temperatures in the uh, 40s and 50s. So a little dreary tomorrow in the sense that we'll have clouds and sprinkles. Not too bad for Saturday despite the extra clouds and a little brighter Sunday and the holiday Monday. Could be worse, so we're okay. All right, thanks, Tony.